You mentioned that you have a nine-year-old nephew who's overweight and it sounds like he's an emotional eater because of some very traumatic experiences he had earlier on in his life and you're concerned about his well-being and wonder what you can do for him. Now you also mentioned that he vomits especially after eating spicy food and it would be best to encourage his guardian his mother or whoever it may be to take him to the doctor and address medical concerns. They can decide if further investigation or treatments are warranted for those things. But being his aunt, you can definitely be a positive force for good in his life. Take him out and do things with him that encourage him to be active and if food has to be involved, then make sure he has healthy options. And keep in mind that to some degree, all of us are emotional eaters. Emotional eating can be prompted by both positive and negative things. So in his life, it sounds like it's negative things, but positive things can always do it too, like birthdays and Valentine's Day and many other excuses we all make to eat um, food that's not very good for us. So um, instead of making food a part of fun, do things that are active that are fun. Talk to him about things he wants to talk about and develop a relationship of trust. And once he has that, he'll probably feel like he can come to you with deeper things that he might want to talk about in the future. Good luck to him and to you. And if you have more questions for me in the future, please feel free to ask them on our Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash Intermountain Moms and recommend us to your friends and family too.